questions for Kyle? Go right ahead. Kyle working right to the end there with uh, Dan. And yeah. We're here at the end of camp. Just how was your kind of encapsulate everything you guys were doing at camp? Yeah, I thought we had a really good camp. Um, I feel like we picked up where we left off at the end of spring um, and then uh, took a lot of steps in the right direction. So uh, I think we're right where we need to be. And then now I think the last kind of week of preparation, just polishing things off. We've heard Zeed Haynes name a lot through camp and he's been breaking out. It feels like you two have a, a, a good relationship. How did you establish that? Uh, I think just a lot of reps. Uh, he's a guy who just loves football, uh, super talented and uh, is just a student of the game. Uh, loves to talk about what I see on uh, certain plays, what I want him to do with his routes. Uh, and so that makes my job easy. And I think when, like I said, you pair that with, you know, just his uh, freakish talent, uh, he's a really good player. You mentioned what you see. Did you guys at Ohio State last year use the, the GoPros on top of the helmets? Mm -hmm. Nah, this, this is my how, first time. How like interesting is it to go back and watch the film of like what you're seeing in practice and being able to go over it with the coaches? Yeah, I think it's, it's extremely helpful. Um, I feel like it, it gives them obviously like a first-hand view of what I'm seeing, um, you know, how, how I see coverages, how I see blitzes and stuff like that, and how it looks uh, from the corner, quarterback's point of view. So I think it's been extremely helpful. Is there something you feel like you've learned in particular from being able to go back over that footage? Um, I think, honestly, it's just a more realistic way to watch film, um, you know, because obviously when you're watching film most of the time, it's, you know, from the bird's eye view, uh, and that's not the way uh, obviously, I see the field when I'm when I'm playing. Uh, so I think it's just more realistic. You get a better sense of uh, just the speed of the game. Um, you know, the windows with the route concepts and stuff like that. Um, so, like I said, I think it's just a better way to watch, in my opinion. Kyle, when you look at the tight end room and just working with guys like Aronde Getz and Maximilian Mang, David yeah. Kemen, as well as Dan Valari, just what that room specifically means to this offense and what you've seen from them. I think they complement each other extremely well. And I think that's a very deep room. I think that's four or five guys that can play. And I think the, the best thing that they do for us is they don't, um, they don't kind of handicap us. You know, and you know, regardless of who's in the game, we can run our offense. We can run different stuff. Um, so there's not, you know, a play that we can't run with Max that we couldn't run with Dan. You know, they, they all do. Uh, obviously, have their own skill sets, but they all do. Um, you know, everything that we need them to do on the field. You made a commitment to Syracuse, and you're about to realize that walking into the dome in orange mm -hmm. and blue. Just what you could say about this moment in this new chapter for you, having gone through camp with these guys. Yeah, uh, it's definitely the the date that I've had circled on my calendar since the day I decided to come here, um, and so a lot of hard work, early mornings, late nights uh, to get to this point. Um, so now it's just uh, excitement more than anything, uh, getting an opportunity to go out there and play. Kyle, we've seen you a lot on the All Access show. Um, you really act as a second coach, helping guys out, giving them pointers as well. How important is that aspect of that game to you? Uh, it's everything. I think playing quarterback, the guys have to understand um, that we have to play as a unit. And I think that's my job as the quarterback to make sure, A, on offense, that we play as a unit, and then just as a team in general. Um, so holding guys accountable, um, making sure that we're maximizing every opportunity we get on the field. Um, and like I said, I think that's just my job. I think that's the job of the quarterback. Kyle, headed into last year as QB1, how different is it to be heading into you know the starting quarterback position this year for you, mm -hmm. especially with such a new program? Yeah, uh, I think this year, um, just having an understanding of what it's going to be. Um, when as soon as I got here, uh, obviously Coach Fran uh, was great and just upfront about uh, his plans and his visions for me. Um, and I think the biggest thing was that coming in this year, everybody, we were on the same page trying to learn a new playbook. Um, so guys like OG and Dan and Z, you know, learning the, the same at the same time as, as them was fun. And I feel like that allowed us to have a deeper understanding because, you know, when you're going through the same install, uh, the same plays, it allowed me to talk to them about what I see and you know how I'm going to read it and what I want them to do. Um, and, and I think we started that back in January, and now at this point, eight months later, I feel like we've just taken that to the next, the next level. Who would you say has surprised you the most offensively since the start of camp? Uh, Yamari Hatcher's had a really good camp. Um, he was banged up a little bit uh, at the beginning of spring, um, so didn't really get too many reps with him in spring, uh, but had a really strong camp. Um, just, I think, is really playing at a high level right now, uh, confident, trusting his hands, playing physical, uh, using his speed and his size to, to win matchups. And another guy that really loves to learn, um, loves to talk about what I see. So he's at a really good camp. Kyle, uh, 
So you've talked a lot about Fran Brown and how big of a factor he was in you coming to Syracuse. What were the one or two other biggest factors in terms of you coming here, and how have those played out now that you've made it all the way through spring training and camp and everything? Yeah, obviously, like you said, Fran was big, uh, but I think just the, the team in place was big as well. Um, all the top guys like OG and JB and Marlo all coming back um, was big for me. And then all the talent that we brought in as well, um, you know, talking uh, with Fidel when we were both in the portal about coming here, um, guys like uh, Zed and Jackson. Um, and so I knew uh, Coach Fran was going to do a great job bringing in a lot of talent around me to give myself uh, an opportunity to have success. And I think just the other coaches as well. Um, obviously, I've had a, a long relationship with Coach Nixon, uh, growing up with Will. I've known Coach Nunn's for a while. So I think it just it made sense from a, a, a roster standpoint and as well as the coaches. Now that you're seeing that roster, how has it looked on the field? Uh, it's lived up, you know, well past my expectations. Um, you know, just getting to, to work with guys like OG every day. Um, you know, playing in the Big Ten, uh, you don't watch too many of, you know, Syracuse's games just because they're in a different conference. But now seeing it firsthand, like guys like him have really impressed me, LaQuinn as well. Got a few more minutes with Kyle. I want to make sure those who requested them get their questions in. So Mandy and Brent, if you guys can jump in. Yeah, um, we heard from Coach his vision of Dart. How do you feel mm -hmm. like you have implemented that into camp and then going forward in the season as well? Yeah, I think it's everything that we do. Um, from the time that Coach Fran got here, I still remember we were sitting in uh, the locker room after the bowl game, uh, and it was me and I think five or six other guys that transferred as, as well as the rest of the team, and that was the first thing he was talking about. Um, so from that point on, that was uh, kind of the backbone of the program. And I think uh, being the quarterback of the team, um, it's my responsibility to continue that message and just kind of be uh, an extension of the head coach. Yeah, can you describe your relationship with coach and how he's investing in the future of the players just beyond football? Yeah, Fran is extremely authentic, uh, extremely genuine. I think what you see with Fran is what you get. Um, and I feel like my relationship with Fran and when I was in sixth, seventh grade um, is pretty similar now. Um, and I think, you know, off the field, he's, he's a super uh, relatable guy to talk to. And then when you step on the field, super fire, super competitive. And I think all the guys rally around a coach like that, like, you know, he's out there right now, 30 minutes after practice, still coaching the guys. Like that's, that's rare. Thank you. Fran said he wants to see Little League Kyle out there a little bit. Yeah. Who's, who's Little League Kyle? I think just running around, playing free, um, trying to make plays and, and having fun. And I think that's easy to do when um, you have people that you grew up playing with um, around you and you have coaches that you've known for a while that you know believe in you. With uh, Trevor Pena back in the mix, just what, what do you see as his role in this offense yeah. and your relationship? Yeah, Trev had a great spring. Um, really was probably the most consistent guy in offense in my eyes. Um, a veteran guy. Um, and I feel like he's kind of the, the Swiss, Army knife of, Swiss Army knife of the offense, uh, can move him around in different spots, uh, can do a lot of different roles. And so I think what he's given us is just, uh, you know, another layer to the offense um, that I don't know if they had in, in years before while he was, while he was injured, but he, he's had a really good offseason, and um, I think he's due for a really big fall. We were just talking to the offensive line coach. What have you seen from them developing as a unit of five and, and the guys behind them mm -hmm. throughout camp? Yeah, I feel like they're probably the most improved group from uh, the start of spring to now. Um, you know, it's kind of been uh, a little bit of musical chairs at the beginning, just, you know, putting guys in different places and seeing how they, they play and, you know, bringing in a few transfers and Spoon and uh, Savion and uh, Josh Miller. Uh, but the, the guys have done really well, and I think it's been – um, good competition on the line. I feel like they all have been pushing each other. And Coach Nixon's offense, it, it, challenged, uh, it challenges the line a lot, um, you know, making different calls, um, you know, in some of the plays we run. But I feel like they've done a really good job of, of picking it up. Now that we're coming to the end of camp, just what you can say about the quarterbacks behind you and what you've seen from Carlos as well as Jakari mm -hmm. and, of course, Michael. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's a good room because there's – um, experience with Mike obviously being in college football for a while and Carlos, Carlos as well um, and then there's a lot of talent in there too uh, with those two guys and then uh, the young guys as well um, the three freshmen that we brought in I feel like they, they've done a really good job of picking up the offense and attacking it um, and I just I think the biggest thing is that we all feed off each other like the energy in that room is really good um, when one guy makes a play everybody else is happy for him um, and I, I think that's what you want it's kind of the, the vibe you want in the quarterback room 
last two for Kyle. Kyle, what's it like having a running back like LaQuint uh, beside you? And what have you seen from him throughout camp? I love playing with LaQuint. Um, he is just on go 24 seven. And uh, I feel like his energy really pushes the offense. Um, and then I think his, his phys physical uh, gifts and attributes, I think are off the charts. Um, I feel like last year, you go back and watch the, the tape, obviously he had a really good year, even when teams uh, started to stack the box against him at, at the end. Um, but I feel like he's a really good receiver as well. Um, just a really versatile back who loves, loves football. Switching conferences, obviously the schedule looks very different this year. Mm -hmm. Is there a game or a stretch that in particular sticks out to you? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Um, I feel like playing in, in college football now for three years, it's kind of the same um, same type of structure of a schedule where you start out with a, a non-conference game and then you play a few conference games and then a few non-conference sprinkled in. Um, but I, I think the biggest thing right now, um, I and mean, I can tell you like all the guys are just focused on, you know, the 31st and, and not looking ahead because, um, you know, we have to take care of business every single week. Thanks, Kyle.